Digitize HR can be very useful in this process. Uh, just to give some idea, this data can be interesting that in 2015, venture capitalist uh, invested about 2.5 billion dollars in 383 HR software deals. Uh, do HR department says that they have a software needed to analyze the performance of their employees? Answer is yes and rise of super CFO coincides with the advent of the uh, spreadsheet applications related to HR resources, human resources. These are some of the examples how HR's processes and systems which directly contribute to talent management are digitized. Uh, very popular uh, websites are Antilo. Antilo is a software for the intelligent recruiting. Uh, job white link media for the application tracking and the recruitment process. So, th uh, these are the uh, softwares which have artificial intelligence and machine learning incorporated in it. They keep developing uh, the insight based on the more and more data which is fed to uh, uh, their systems. Retention can also be helped by HR digitization. Uh, one example uh, is uh, given of the Google. So, based on the HR analytics, Google found that uh, new mothers are the one which have very high attrition rate. So, based on that uh, analysis, they increase the maternity leave for the employees and that has a very significant impact on the retention of the talented female employees in the organization. Similarly, a calendar develop uh, similarly a career development process can be uh, enhanced by using HR digitized process uh, by ex looking at the employee life cycle analysis. Any employee in an organization goes through some cycle. First stage is entry, socialization, growth, play to, and looking at uh, and getting sometime new responsibilities or continuance of the play to. So, which are the talent, which are the organization, which are the uh, uh, employees having different stages of their career after certain years of age can give insight about who are the people who grow fastest, who are the people reach to uh, play to at some point of their career. All this analysis can be done with the uh, uh, HR being digitized. Similarly, performance management uh, can also be digitized and uh, more frequent interaction, more feedback, dynamic goal setting can be incorporated in the performance management system. There are a lot of organization like GE, Netflix, Microsoft. In most of their functions, they do not identify yearly objectives. The performance objectives are set much more frequently. Instead of yearly, Sometimes the objectives are set weekly, monthly or quarterly. Because of the dynamic nature of market, the expectation from different roles also keeps changing and that process can be helped by a digitization process. Cultural transformation, people first organization means learning and collaborative work. Work of human eyes at European retail bank showed that shared incentive structure lead to faster communication that led to uh, greater productivity. So, uh, you can see the shared incentive structure is a tangible process. Culture is the combination of tangible and intangible processes and productivity is again a tangible outcome. With the robust digitized HR, with the robust analytics, we can identify the impact of the tangible process on the intangible outcomes as well as the business outcomes. There are few propositions for reflection at this point of time. Uh, 
talent management process requires senior leaders involvement. So, as selecting leadership talent is dependent a lot on getting seniors also involved in the process. This is because of many reasons. Number one, senior leaders have an idea what is needed in the organization. Number two, when senior leaders are involved in the selection process of the leadership talent, their, their psychological contract about grooming that talent also get strengthened. Number three, senior leaders are more knowledgeable anyways because of their enhanced, because of their bigger perspective, long term orientation and their more knowledge about the organizational strategy and organizational direction. Second point of reflection is that hiring for leadership should be done not just for the functional or academic expertise. Hiring for leadership should be for organizational success and organizational growth. So, the perspective and attitude of leaders is equally important and that has to be considered at the time of talent acquisition or talent management, because that has implication on the strategic success of the organization. Learning about the person's values and behavior must be done before hiring. So, reference check or attitude survey or psychometric surveys should be done before the inter final interview of the talent. Cultural assimilation is again a very important aspect of talent management process. We can hire very talented people from outside of the organization, but if they find that their values are not in line with the values of the new organization their best will not come. As a result of that, their performance suffers as well as in the long term, their attitude and engagement also go down. So, cultural assimilation of the outsiders requires conscious effort. That effort should be done from the very beginning of the employee life cycle, that is from the socialization stage and then intermittently there has to be some orientation processes town halls, addressed by the CEOs and many other clues through which organizational cultural values are constantly communicated to the employees. Now, we will look at some of the operational tips related to effective talent management system. Uh, first thing is candid conversation about who has the greatest leadership potential. Without the candid, candid conversations, we cannot identify the critical talent and as I mentioned before that uh, candid talent conversation has to be done uh, from the financial perspective, from HR perspective as well as from the business perspective. Leadership development process, just one example is of the uh, center for creative leadership's uh, lead for uh, success process. That includes awareness, learning agility, influence and communication. These four aspects are found to be most important. Uh, for any leader, hence that has to be part of any leadership development process. Many organizations have their customized process and approach of leadership development and most of them incorporate some or other elements of this kind which are related to awareness, learning, fast learning, innovation, creativity, commitment, social concerns a response, sense of responsibility towards the uh, to different stakeholders, their ability to influence and communication. So, some or uh, in, in all leadership processes at least some aspect of these four process, uh, some aspect of these four elements are always there uh, for the talent management process. Creating process and opportunity for the frequent and honest feedback is also a very important aspect of talent management. Talent management can be promoted most strongly by making it as an explicit part of leader's job. It has to feature into the leader's performance appraisal, leader's performance management system. If organization has to, uh, if organization is committed 
to build a strong talent management system. Then there are many other ways of uh, talent development or leadership development, giving projects and assignment for the leadership development, robust database of employees skill and expertise and an interactive system which, uh, which can give the gist of the uh, skills and expertise of the different employees. Uh, integration of the business review and people review. Only business review cannot give us the full picture about the future performance of the person. So, we need to have a review of the personal qualities that may include qualities of interaction, attitude, values and also the business review. Uh, so, uh, personal review and business review must be combined uh, to have the complete picture of the talent. Judging performance beyond numbers is uh, related to the attitude uh, of the employees and their emotion and the emotional capital or social capital they generate or they have in the organization. Uh, these are some of the books, uh, some of the very famous books on the <coughs> talent management, you can take help of these books. <coughs>